If there was a vote for one person to receive immortality, who would win? If memory serves, there's a guy whose DNA contains a mutation that makes his blood a treatment for some deadly disease. I don't remember the particulars but he gives blood basically as often as practical and has already saved something like two million lives. That guy. Most likely the most undeserving asshole possible. My old boss, Hamish. So he can watch humanity go extinct and have a miserable eternity. Really comes down to who would you want to live with Keith Richards. That dude in India with the feeding program feeding 2 million kids a day or something. Me, WTF? That one guy's dead wife. I would vote for my worst enemy as a punishment you won't be able to rest and will see all the people you love die, one after the other, even your own children, and the children of your children, in a non-stop everlasting nightmare. The last time this scenario occurred was back in 1966, when we elected the Queen of England to receive immortality. Rumours say King Charles is the one who managed to get the vote annulled somewhere between 2020 and 2022, after which the health of the Queen quickly declined. Anyway, if this was to take place today, Vladimir Putin would win in nebulous circumstances. Dolly Parton. Someone who has remained humble even with all the fame and fortune in the world and continues to do well. The world can use more people in high places like her. Dolly Parton. This doesn't need to happen. Ozzy Osbourne is already basically immortal. Surely Sir David Attenborough deserves it at this point, right? Depends, will this immortality be a blessing or a curse? Weird Al Yankovic George R. R. Martin He needs to finish before he can rest. My cat Dolly Parton Mr. Rogers So he can inspire people forever. I think based on population some famous person from India or China will win. Betty White I think we should give it to Keith Richards. I wanna see how much older he can look. I would not vote and curse anyone with immortality. Entropy sets in, the universe grows cold. Some dude is just floating while suffering the pain of a vacuum at zero Kelvin while reading Charles Dickens for the 367,894th time. Because he just finished everything else again. One living person? I think I'd have to go with LeVar Burton. Dude does a lot of good as an icon of literacy and a role model for kids, especially black kids. I think it would have been Betty White. A Mexican dude named Jesus for the lulls. Sir Patrick Stewart. David Attenborough. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Keanu Reeves. Too late, but Mr. Rogers. Dolly Parton. I would have said Steve Irwin but. I would have said Betty White. But it's too late. Mr. Rogers. Christopher Lambert not that he'd need it. Hob Gadling. Jesus. Keanu Reeves. I am not Keanu Reeves or anything like that. I just think it should be Keanu for reasons. My dog, because he is the bestest boy three. I feel like that would be a form of torture eventually. Danny DeVito Bob Ross, if it works for dead people. Can we vote for Betty White to come back to us? It would have been Mr. Rogers. My little sister. I know she isn't known worldwide or anything like that, but she's the only person who's kept me going. Without her, I'm not sure I'd be alive. Dolly Parton. Mr. Rogers. Patrick Stewart. Dolly. Kiana Reeves. 
Keanu Reeves unless he already immortal. Dolly Parton Dolly Parton Keanu Reeves I know that it's too late, but Betty White. No question. Is this a prize or a penalty? I don't get why anybody is suggesting good people. I wouldn't even wish immortality on my worst fucking enemy. What an absolutely horrible curse. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers has already gone, so I pass my vote. Mr. Rogers. If we can go posthumously, Mr. Rogers. Dolly Parton, the patron saint of Pigeon Forge. Nikola Tesla. I don't know who I would vote to win. Is it really winning? I don't think it's a win to live forever. Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Dolly. Because she would donate it to someone who deserved it. Robin Williams. Honestly, isn't it a punishment? To be immortal alone is to see everyone you know die and all the things that are familiar to you go away. You'd increasingly be an anachronism which would be incredibly lonely. I've talked to very elderly people who have lost all their friends and children and a lot of them seem ready to go sooner rather than later in the end. I'd probably give the gift to someone I extremely disliked, but it seems like a cruel thing to do. Robin Williams I bet you all the 14-year-old girls will pick their favorite BTS member. Mr. Rogers Morgan Freeman, have him narrate our timeline from start to finish throughout the universe. The asshole in me says Elon Musk or his recently unbanned buddy Donald Trump, the realistic me says anyone who provides significant help to people. I feel like immortality would be more of a punishment than a gift. Jesus. Honestly, probably fucking Donald Trump. I hate living in this country right now. The person who absolutely shouldn't have it i.e. someone with no morals who has gained a large following through lies and deception like Donald Trump or Elon Musk. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves, but he wouldn't accept it. Wait. Can we use it on a dead person to bring them back with immortality? If so then Bob Ross or Mr. Rogers for sure. Maybe Warren Buffet. Dude has donated more to charity than anyone including an annual pledge of $4 billion and still lives in the same house he bought in 1958. Obviously he's good at making money, and he gives back an insane amount. So maybe with enough time, he could really make a huge difference. Paul McCartney.